I shall not want. Good morning. Um, this week, I'm going to uh, draw a few lessons from a time, the time I spent uh, with my brother. Um, my sister Ali and I, we went and spent a week with my, our brother Tim in Somerset, where he's just become a shepherd. Um, he started there at the end of February. And we had a week being able to help him because his family were away. And as I went through the week, I was thinking, oh, yeah, there's some lessons we could learn from um, this experience. And so each day, we're going, I'm going to just focus on different aspects of our time there. So today, we have the shepherd's voice. Now, when are you moving sheep? Uh, it's, it's quite a, a big operation and um, you need to move sheep from one field to the next so they get the better grass. And you know, watching Tim, he's, he's not a loud person and he would just come up and to his sheep and say, come, come, come. And they would get alert and they would follow him, follow him up the drove to the next field. And all the while he would go, come, come, come. And they followed him because they recognised him. They recognised his voice. They recognised his shape. And they knew they could trust him. And they followed him. And that reminded me of the little passage in John chapter 10, verses 2 to 5. And you would know it already. The man who enters by the gate is the shepherd of his sheep. The watchman opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought them out, all his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognise a stranger's voice. Now, this says the sheep recognise the shepherd's voice. Um, but not as strangers. And that, the question came to me is, do we recognise Jesus' voice? Do we know the difference between Jesus' voice and a stranger's voice? And in 1 John chapter 4, in verse 1, we read, Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God because many false prophets have gone out into the world. So we have, we're, we're encouraged to think about who's the stranger, who is Jesus, who, what voice is the stranger's voice, what voice is Jesus' voice, but how can we do that? How, how do we um, manage to de determine what is the right thing to follow and what isn't. And the answer there is we need to attune our minds to God's way of thinking. For example, now Tim, my brother Tim, he would say, oh, the sheep, they don't necessarily recognise my voice and my shape. They are following the packet of food that I'm shaking as I walk along. Now, God gives us good food. He provides it through his word. He provides it through fellowship and, uh, and things like that. And we need to eat his good food as we fellowship with other people, as we um, read his word, as we um, meditate on what we've learned. Then our minds by the Holy Spirit are attuned to God's way of thinking. And we're able to then... Um, determine when somebody is teaching something that is not good, not God's way, and he can really prove it. So it's attuning our minds to him. And there was an old phrase that I've heard many years ago, put yourself in the place of blessing. So many people they just say, oh, I can't be bothered to do that. Oh, I'm too tired. I've got too many other things to do. So they miss out um, going to a Bible study or they miss out going to church. I'm not saying you have to do that, but maybe it's something that 
um, you were thinking you should be doing and then you've stopped doing it and you're missing out on that blessing but also you're missing out on hearing God's voice, hearing Jesus talking to you. So we need to tune our minds to determine the difference between the shepherd and the stranger and may we be those who are always listening out for the shepherd's voice. Now I will put this to you as well. I mean, sometimes we go through dry patches where we're reading the Bible and nothing is going in and or we think, oh, I'm not getting those wow moments where I really feel something is sticking out to me. But don't give up because that is still good food that's going in. Those sheep still knew that they would always have good food. God gives us good food. And as we read, that's still going into our minds and cleansing our minds and just lining up our minds to hear the shepherd. May we be those who listen out for the shepherd. Shall we pray? Jesus, we thank you that you've given so, us so many resources to hear you and to know you better. We pray that we'll be those who recognise your voice and recognise you and are good followers. Attune our minds to your way of thinking as we look at our world and seek your will in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed day. my shepherd I shall not want He makes me lie down in green pastures He leads me beside still waters He restores my soul He leads me in paths of righteousness For His name I shall not want